Hey guys, Cody Barton here. Really excited. Today I have my new 2016 Porsche 911 Turbo S. We're in Delray Beach, Florida, where I bought the car from. It's, we just wanted to give you a quick tour of the car and talk about the numbers. Because again, as you saw my last video where I was talking about how to buy exotic cars without losing your butt on them, I wanted to actually have it broken down with the guys that helped me buy this car, which is exactly why I'm here. I'm standing here with Hunter Shaw. So Hunter, tell us a little bit about the, you know, the, the car finder program, who you are, what you do, and then let's talk about the Porsche a little bit. My name is Hunter. Uh, I'm the owner of Exotics Hunter. Um, I'm the main, I have a dealership here. I do some motorcycles and some exotic cars. Um, and where I kind of partnered with uh, ECH and PJ, the car finder service is we help people get into the right exotics. Whenever you think about exotics, it's like, oh, I don't want to buy a Ferrari because I'm going to lose a hundred grand. Yeah, I lose a hundred grand. 150 grand after I, after I own it. And basically uh, what PJ has done with exotic car hacks is able to teach these guys how to buy the correct cars the right way, with the right specs, uh, to where you actually don't lose money. More of a money management play than, than anything else. And it's all about kind of limiting your exposure whenever you get into the right car rather than the cheapest one or Yeah, whatever. that was the way that I looked at buying cars before is like, okay, what's the most affordable one of that model without really looking at all the options. And right. like I was looking at the McLaren and then looking at the Audi R8 and where PJ was telling me the market's a little bit high on those. And then really the McLaren, I'd need to spend more than I was wanting to, to get, you know, the warranty and all the things that he was suggesting. What are your thoughts on like this, you know, Porsche 911 Turbo S that I bought? Like with the McLaren, I know you were looking at those. Yeah. One of the biggest thing with McLaren is they're they're known to just have issues. Yeah. So uh, we always recommend people to get the warranty or have a yeah. CPO, like the actual MS or CPO from McLaren on those. And it costs a little bit of money to, to yeah. get into those. And the markets on the McLaren were way up too. They're up like 30 grand right now to where yeah. they're supposed to be. So your risk is a lot higher. A lot higher. Mm -hmm. so where with the Porsche market, it's a very enthusiast market. They have zero issues. I mean, they're basically bulletproof cars, yeah. uh, especially the turbo lineup. Um, and just from a, a value standpoint, it puts you at a lot less risk exposure, basically, um, for that car. So yeah. I, you have like, what, 8,000 miles or something? Yeah, it's like 8,900. Probably drive five to 7,000 miles in that car, mm -hmm. and your risk exposure is a lot lower than if you drive five to, five to 7,000 miles on a McLaren 570S. And then the spec on the car is just phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, thing's freaking beautiful. Yeah, so spec and condition are basically what sell cars, and I know a lot of people just whenever they look online, they're like, oh, this is the cheapest. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is the cheapest <laughs> that. And, like, and dealers do the same thing. Like, they'll go to auction and mm -hmm. MMR, and, you know, all that stuff. And we kind of stay away from that because it like those are end up being problem cars and yeah. they're not fun. So if you, mm -hmm. it's all about the experience. So if you buy a car and you're constantly in the shop, yeah. constantly issues, this is breaking yes. or, you know, it's got paint work after you yeah. it for six months or whatever. It's very frustrating. So and that was my experience. I bought a Maserati Gran Turismo through a family friend that was helping me buy it. And I lost like 30 grand on a Gran Turismo. That's like, I literally bought it for 60 grand, but just in problems and everything. Right. Yeah, like maybe if you would have spent five grand more, ten grand more yeah. on that car, yeah. you wouldn't have had the thirty thousand. Yes. So yeah, that's kind of what the exotic car hack model is, and that's what we kind of teach people and try and go through and finding you guys the right cars through through the car finder service. So, I mean, this but, is very easy process, so I appreciate it. And uh, where could people find you or find more information about what you do? Uh, I mean, my personal stuff, I'm on Instagram, it's Hunter Shaw, if you just find it. And then uh, my business is Zox Hunter, you can find me there. But if you're in ECH, I'm all over the group as well. So you guys can find me, find me inside the group. So hit up Exotic Car Hacks, they're a great, great community. And then anytime you need any exotic help, doing deals, transactions, pass-throughs, stuff like that, more than happy to help you guys out. Awesome, thank you, appreciate it, bro. Thank you.